Welcome to episode 18 of this platformer tutorial series. In this episode we'll create an ability collectible. So when you get this collectible, you get two double jumps instead of just one. So let's get started. So what I'll do is go on to Google and search on pixel art 16 by 16 fruit. I'll just do some fruit. I like these, so I'll just copy them and you can use whatever you want. You can also try to find this one if you want. I'll put a link for it in the description. Then I'll save picture as, and I'll just find my project 2D platformer right here. Then go to assets, go in here and to sprites, and I'll just call it fruit and save. Then I'll go into unity, go to assets and find the sprites. We have the sprites right here and it has automatically cut them into these four. So you can see in the sprite editor right here, that it has automatically done that for us. And let's say we want the strawberry to be the power up. So I'll just drag this one onto here. Then I'll double click it and it's right behind the player. It's right here. I will call it strawberry. Then I'll add the tag, add tag, click on the plus icon. And I'll call it strawberry. Click on the strawberry again and actually assign the strawberry tag. Then I'll just go to scenes right here so I can see the collider and I'll add a polygon collider so it's very accurate and I'll set it to is trigger then I'll just drag it down here into assets so it actually becomes a prefab now let's open up the player script right here and scroll down and let's add a on trigger enter 2d where we'll do if collision dot game object dot tag equals draw berry spelled the exact same way as in unity for the tag where we basically will set extra jumps to two instead of one and let's also take the collision.game object and destroy it so do destroy collision.game object which will be the strawberry so it actually disappears when you hit it now go back into unity let's click start and right now if we click on the player and scroll down we can see we have one extra jump so if i hit this now I can jump one extra time. So perfect. If you like this series and want to support me or just get better at Unity, check out my paid community where you get direct access to me and to my premium course where you go from a complete beginner in Unity to someone who can make a 2D and 3D game by themselves and also know a lot of C-sharp code. There's a link for that at the top of the description and the pinned comment. So see you in the community or see you in the next episode.